In the gilded opera houses of Europe, there lived a pair of songbirds who captivated all with their divine melodies. Armand and Bertrand Hubac, twin brothers, were consumed by fame. They lived lavishly, constantly craving more. But fame is fleeting. When a rising talent entered the royal court, their song reached the chilling crescendo. In a fit of jealousy, they silenced him in full view of the king, penning their own fate in blood. As punishment, they were banished and sent to serve under the Compagnie Royale's banner. The twins vowed to spill pirate blood until their dues were paid. Now, they spread their deadly song from sea to shore, sailing for the Indian Ocean in a final bid for freedom, and to orchestrate their chorus of havoc. Accessibility, menu narrate. of capitalism, when corporations as mighty as nations rule the seas and dominate the world's valuable trade routes. With an iron fist, they forge a path of tyranny and exploitation, igniting a battle for global supremacy. From the Indian Ocean, a flood of exotic goods feed new addictions and fill coffers with coins tainted in blood. And where there is blood, there are predators.
Freeman's luck must truly be on your side. Luck? The British and the folk beat them. I blame Captain Russell for stealing us into these cursed shallows. <laughs> we survived the battle, and now you arrive to help through the Dao. I would say our fortune's on the rise, no? There's a certain yearning in your eyes. I've seen the same glint in others before. I'm sure you will steer us through to St. Anne. To reach Parrot Paradise, we must first know the way. Yeah. A logbook we retrieved from the wreck. More than ink and parchment, our fates are revealed in layers and often from plain sight. Perhaps this will help you chart your path forward, friend. Make yourself useful. Take the tiller before the damn British return. I'll work the sail. The wind favors the fearless. Let us chase it. Among the scattered survivors, one must surely know the way to St. Anne. Freeman's luck, guide us. Told Captain Rassler, the ship was as overburdened as a pregnant sow. We may have lost the British in the fog, but also the race against these cursed elements. See now, the Exeter's guts spilled across these shallows, and I'm surrounded by drunken sluggards who believe they are doomed to this hellish rock. And where were you, Captain, while the Exeter was hounded by British frigates? No doubt cowering in your quarters like the filthy built rat you are. are your foolhardy ways if they have left us stranded upon these shallows you wish to reach St. Anne of course you do and so do the rest of this drunken lot sprawled upon their asses but if we return to the kingpin empty-handed he will surely strip us of our titles if he does not first strip us of our skin retrieve what remains of Scalock's cargo from the shark infested waters only then Will I divulge the way to pirate paradise? Good. Now make haste. Trust the officer to guide a fish in open seas. But if the bugger knows the way to St. Anne, we need to get Skurlock's cargo. We can hunt these fish for food. You must track fast! Those copses, we might have to search them.
jump on that island. Ha ha! Gozzle all you can, matey! 